The Chaos Space Marine warbands devoted to Grandfather Nurgle, the god of disease and decay, have plagued the Imperium of Man all throughout the galaxy. Although not all of them are direct descendants of the traitorous Death Guard Legion, many can trace their lineage to the 14th Legion. When the Death Guard retreated into the Eye of Terror, following their defeat against the loyalist forces of the Imperium of Man, the once unified Legion of Mortarion splintered into smaller warbands. They continued to maintain ties to their companies, now referred to as the Plague Companies of the Death Guard, but even these were broken into smaller warbands called Victoriums. And with that said, I want to welcome you guys back to another 40 Facts About the 40k Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and today we're going to be talking about a specific Victorium by the name of the Putrid Choir. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40k lore videos every single day. If you guys have suggestions for any topics, or if you guys have any questions, just ask down in the comments section below. And if you guys enjoy our content, thank our patrons on Patreon. It is because of them that we can do this. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. But with that said, let's get into 40 facts on the Putrid Choir. The Victorium of the Death Guard Trader Legion's third company, known as the Putrid Choir, is one of Mortarion's most blaring military forces. The demon Primarch Mortarion himself has very little control over the actions of the Putrid Choir. Instead, the Warband has had a variety of leaders that have directed them throughout its 10,000 year long history. They are recognized by their somewhat unique Warband standard of a modified version of the Mark of Nurgle. Their march to battle is signaled by the baleful toll of the Victorium's toxins of misery wielded by its Blightbringers. Accompanying this maddening percussion comes discordant battle hymns sung in praise of Grandfather Nurgle. Digging in amidst the enemy territory, the Putrid Choir drives their foes mad with their droning cacophony. The enemy would much rather give up its defensive position or charge their guns rather than face the clamor. Unbeknownst to the Imperium of Man, the Putrid Choir was about to receive its worst defeat in history in the 41st millennium, when Imperial Navy ships of Battlefleet Obscura pursued an outnumbered plague fleet throughout the Cadus Belt. After a savage battle, the last surviving plague ship managed to perform a full combat drop onto the world of Anverheim before breaking up in the planet's atmosphere. Emerging from their dropcraft, the Putrid Choir tore its way through the planet's polar fortress city of Jutengard and seized the complex for themselves. Expecting swift victory, wave after wave of Imperial forces descended upon the complex. Each was broken in turn by the tenacious Death Guard defense. A prolonged siege developed amidst bitter snowstorms tainted by Nurgless plague spores, and as the fighting stretched into solar weeks, then months, the Putrid Choir's entropic song echoed endlessly across the city from the fortress voximeters. At last, three standard years after the Putrid Song first descended upon the planet, the remaining Imperial forces, now starved, diseased, and deranged, fled from the stars, leaving the Death Guard warriors sorely depleted, but victorious within their decaying new fortress. Regaining its full strength in the 42nd millennium, the Putrid Choir assaulted the Astra Militarum's 14th Valpone Blue Bloods. This regiment endured solar months of filth and indignity in the battles against the Putrid Choir. They begged Nurgle to spare them from corruption. The Play God answered their calls, rendering them forever gleaming and pristine, except for every seventh soldier amongst them. These unfortunates endured all the disease and pestilence their comrades should have had, bloating into dirt-smeared infectious spawns whose wails and stench drove the rest of the regiments mad with guilt and horror. To the amusement of the Putrid Choir, the surviving Imperial Guardsmen turned their guns and their former comrades before throwing in their lot with the Death Guard Tormentors. And those were 40 facts on the Putrid Choir. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like the Death Guard lore because it's very thematic. Obviously, it's uh, devoted to the god of disease and decay. So you have something that we all can, like significantly relate to just because of the 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 world that we're living in basically with quarantine coronavirus and all that kind of stuff uh, so like if you want to start a death guard army or if you already have one and you want to create lore i think it's easy for you to draw inspirational material just from the world around us and then just create some really cool death guard warband and then connect it to the plague marines and then you can have more terry on fight in your warband because it, it's a victorium of the death guard trader legions uh, you could just choose the company based on like your play tactic uh, check out our 40 facts on the plague companies of the of the plague guard or the death guard I think it's called, I'll put a link up above, uh, but basically you just take that and then it just thematically works and then it, it feels like, yes, it, the, your warband fits within the greater Death Guard Traitor Legion faction. 
but I hope that helps. If you guys have suggestions for any other topics of Warhammer 40k, please let me know what they are in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. This is Gershwan with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>